A management station is a required component for managing OS environments that are hosted outside of Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. It is a system or instance in a location, like on-premises, third-party cloud, or private data center, that performs two important roles. The management station mirrors and distributes operating system content to other managed instances, hosted in the same location, and also acts as the proxy for those managed instances by communicating with OS Management Hub service in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. A management station is not required for managing instances located in OCI. Initial management station setup includes reviewing prerequisites and system minimum requirements, creating the management station in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, preparing a system or instance for the management station role, registering the management station with the OS Management Hub service, and finally verifying the management station registration in the OCI console. Let's get started. First, let's cover the prerequisites. If this is your initial management station, make sure to review the Preparing Oracle Cloud Infrastructure for OS Management Hub video and review the Getting Started documentation. The management station is a virtual appliance you will install on a bare metal or virtual machine running Oracle Linux 8, version 8.7, or newer, in your data center. As a reminder, the management station has two roles, proxy and local yum mirror. The management station communicates directly with the OS management service and will need to have access to Oracle Cloud infrastructure, which requires that your network and firework settings are configured properly. Ensure that the instance acting as the management station has network connectivity that can reach the OCI network. For third-party cloud like Azure or AWS, verify that your Azure Virtual Network or Amazon Virtual Private Cloud allows traffic on the proxy and mirror listening ports for your management station. Review the networking considerations documentation for more guidance. And lastly, since the management station is a local YUM mirror, your system will need to have enough storage to host the vendor software source repositories you have selected to use with the service. The space required is directly related to the size of the repositories you have selected. Now that we have those covered, let's create the management station in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. From the main OCI menu, select Observability and Management. Under OS Management Hub, click Management Station. Use the Compartment Selector to choose the compartment for the Management Station. Let's click the Create button. In the panel that displays, enter the basic details and needed information on the system that will act as the Management Station. Enter a name, description. The host name is the resolvable host name of the system in your data center. Proxy information like permitted address and listening port. The Mirror Storage Path is the storage path where the RPM packages will be downloaded and hosted by the Mirror. Enter Mirror Storage Path information like the full path and listening ports. When done, click Create. On the Management Station page, we will see the Management Station listed. Remember the location of the Management Station as we will need profile information later. Next, let's prepare the Management Station system. The Management Station runs as an Apache server application, so we will install the needed packages. Let's connect to our system or instance and install the required Apache packages using the following command. Next, let's start and enable the HTTPD service using the following commands. Last, let's install the SEO Linux package and its dependencies with this command. Now that our management station system has the appropriate packages installed, Let's register the station by installing the management agent software and configuring the plugin. First, we will create a file on the management station containing the registration profile. The profile defines the configuration details of the management station. Let's get profile information from the management station on OCI. Let's go back to the management station page and then click on the action menu on the far right next to the management station. Click view profile and then click copy. Return to the management station terminal and let's paste the profile information into an OSMH profile file. Let's create the file using the following command, and then paste the profile information into it. Save and exit. Next, the management agent provides the service plugin that communicates with OS Management Hub service. We need to install the management agent software. The management agent software requires that Java Development Kit or Java Runtime Environment be installed prior. So let's install JDK8 by running the following command. 
The management agent software install files can be downloaded from Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. Navigate to the main menu, Observability and Management, and then Downloads and Keys. Download the appropriate install file and then move that file to the management station system so it can be installed. Also bookmark this page as we will need the install key information in the next steps. Return to the management station terminal and run the following command to install the management agent. Next, we will register the management station with OS Management Hub. In the management station terminal, let's configure the management agent plugin to run as root. The OS Management Hub plugin needs to run as root to patch the instance. Run the following command. When done, set the permissions of the file. Now let's create a response file that includes our management agent install key. In Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, navigate back to the Downloads and Keys screen, and under the Install Key table, click on the Action menu on the far right and copy the Install Key. Back in the terminal, let's create the response file by running the following command. Paste your Install Key in the first line and set the plugin to True on the second. Save and exit. Next, we configure the management agent by running the setup.sh script. Run the following command. Last, let's configure Firewall and SEL Linux to permit traffic and access. The station setup script is available to configure the Firewall and SEL Linux settings. Run the following command once you have reviewed the changes that the script will make to your Firewall and SEL Linux settings. At this point, the management station should have registered with OS Management Hub. To verify, let's navigate to Observability and Management, and under o OS Management Hub, let's click Management Stations. Click on the Management Station. On the Management Station Details page, we can see that the station has its last check-in, mirror sync schedule, and the next mirror sync listed. The station has now registered with the service. To learn more about the process of registering management stations or troubleshooting registration, visit Oracle Documentation. <laughs> <laughs>